how can you use StreamYard to set up your LinkedIn Live event? Today I'm going to walk you through setting up your StreamYard, including how to add banners and branding so that it is very identifiably you on screen and you're representing your own business. My name is Louise Brogan. I'm the host of the LinkedIn with Louise podcast and I invite you to subscribe to this channel for more content on how you can really leverage LinkedIn to raise your visibility online. Next up, stop. So to set up StreamYard in order to go live on LinkedIn, let's have a little go. So you go to StreamYard.com and log in. So this is assuming you have already created your account. So you'll see that it says StreamYard over here, LinkedIn with Louise, broadcasts, videos, destinations. And because I have the paid version, I can also add in uh, team members. So let's have a little look at all of the different settings. So if we go over to my account, I'm going to click on account settings. So I've got my email address and my language. And then we go into broadcast. So we want to create a broadcast. So it's going to be a new broadcast. And I'm going to send it to my LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn will create an event then on LinkedIn on my behalf. So I'm going to say live interview with Louise Brogan. And then put a description in. Let's talk about using LinkedIn for business. Okay. Now, whatever you write in here is going to appear on your post on LinkedIn. So you do want this to, and you can edit it on LinkedIn, but this will appear as your post on LinkedIn. Schedule for later. You can't start more than two hours late or 15 minutes early, and you cannot edit the start time once created. So that's really interesting. Um, you want to upload a thumbnail image. So we'll go in here and let's pretend here's one we have from earlier. Let's see that one there. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. In fact, that would work really well for me. Let's click apply and schedule start time. So my tip here is best practice is to schedule your LinkedIn Live for at least three or four days time because you want to create an account and then you want to be able to, sorry, create an event and then you want to encourage people to join your event. So let's say, for example, we're going to do it on Thursday at 4 p.m. and just check your time zones there. And we're going to click on create broadcast. Okay, this is now live on LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm not planning to go live on LinkedIn at Thursday at four o'clock, but there we are just for, um, for you guys for this interview example. So what's next? If you had a guest, you go here, and you click on invite the guest. We can now view it on LinkedIn. But what I want to show you is when you enter the studio, this is the settings that you want to set up. So here we are, your camera and your display name. You This could be, you see it coming across on screen. Okay whatever you wanted to say. So your guests can do the same thing and you enter the studio. Now you'll see, this is what the screen looks like. And when you add to your stream, there you go, you appear here. Um, you can add, if you have guests, you've got these different layouts here. If you want to share a screen, you can click on this one here. Um, and if you want to share a presentation, you go down here to the share button here. Now, over on the right hand side, this is how you can set up your um, video for success. So on comments, this is when you click on people's comments and this is what appears on your screen. Go into banners and set up the banners that you want. So I have LinkedIn with Louise podcast, youtube.com, LinkedIn with Louise, louisebrogan.com. Um, and then I'm going to delete the old ones that I have here. And if I want to create a banner, I literally can just say, um, join me live on YouTube every Thursday, something like that, wherever you wanted to say. Now, if you click on scroll across the bottom and add the banner, when you click on this, it will show along the bottom. So for example, you might have, 
um, that you have a big webinar happening and you want to drive people to it, or you have a special offer that ends in a few days and you can put a ticker in that way, or you can edit that, take it out of the ticker, click on save, and it shows up like this, okay? With your paid account, you can set your branding to different themes. So bubble, classic, minimal, and block, okay? And your brand colors can be added in here. So this is my brand color, but you can add in whatever color you want through the color picker or through your brand colors. You can also add in a new brand up at the top. And if we scroll down here, you've got your logo, you can put in here and you can a StreamYard overlay or you can add an overlay. So you might want to make an overlay. If you click on that, it's actually one that you make. So if we click over here, custom graphics, the transparent background, recommended size 1280 by 720. You might want to add a countdown. Which actually is quite good fun, I quite like that. Um, or your own video clip. And then you've got, I don't know why you'd add this in, a leaves background. No, there's no leaves there. <laughs> Maybe that means it leaves the background blank. Oh dear. Um, so if you wanted to put in a background, you can put that in as well. So make sure you go and set up your banners and your brand. Uh, private chat is if you have a guest and nobody else can see that content in here and the comments are hard when people show up. You'll see with the brand and my logo here, that shows up over here. So I hope you find this useful. When you are ready to go live, this over here actually counts down and says, um, you know, going live in 10, 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, whatever. Um, and it then have a big red button here that says you are now live you can click on go live yourself as well. Hope you find this useful. If you're going to be using LinkedIn Live, then I highly recommend StreamYard. Have a go and if you have any questions, please do pop them down below for me in the chat. All right, guys, and remember subscribe to the um, channel so you can keep up with more content on how to use LinkedIn for business.